Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. Today we're going to show you everything you need to know about the Carniflora, which are these crazy carnivorous plants that you find all over the Rockwell Garden biome. Now, Carniflora are an excellent source of tons of black pearls, element shards, raw meat, and spoiled meat, and they are incredibly helpful, but you've got to know exactly how to harvest them safely, otherwise you're the one that gets eaten. We're also going to show you all of the spawn locations for Carniflora on the Genesis 2 map and all of the best, easiest, and most convenient locations to gather them, and we'll show you some of the most effective ways to kill Carniflora and the best ways to gather black pearls and element shards from them. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! So first let me show you where to find Carniflora. They're only on the Rockwell Garden side of the map, and every one of these pink dots on the map is actually a Carniflora spawn location. Now, my favorite location to find Carniflora is actually right inside one of the central entrances to the Rockwell's Garden biome right here, because it's so easy and convenient to pop over here through the space biome, grab the stuff you need, and head back to the Eden Zone, which is where I like to live. Now, you're looking for these clusters of these Venus fly trap looking plants and be really careful as you're approaching them because most of them will usually be dead but as you get closer you might notice that one or two of them start moving and facing towards you and that means they're gonna eat you if you get too close to them they've got like maybe a 10 foot range and if you get within about those 10 feet they will grab you pick you up start chomping on you and you can struggle free by jumping and pressing the attack button but they'll do a lot of damage and a ton of torpidity and you will probably pass out and might end up getting eaten by something even if the Carniflora doesn't finish you off. So it's usually best to just stay out of range of the one that's alive, but I'll show you how to actually kill them in a minute. But first let's show you some of the harvesting tools you can use to gather Carniflora and which ones are most effective. Now, for gathering Carniflora, the pick and hatchet both work pretty well, and I'm actually not 100% sure which one gathers more of which resource, because I seem to get about the same amount of chitin, black pearls, raw meat from using both tools, but let me know in the comments if you found a major difference when you've been experimenting with your tools. So the most effective thing that I've found though is to use a chainsaw. If you bust out a chainsaw, you can start doing some crazy damage to these things, and you can just mow down a whole grove of Carniflora and get crazy amounts of element, chitin, black pearls, spoiled meat, basically all the resources you need, you're just going to be mowing through the whole group. And if you're careful to avoid any live Carniflora, you'll get all the stuff you need that way. You can gather with the moss chops with high melee, and you get a decent amount of resources, and I've actually found the Therizinosaurus gets the most from any gathering dino that I've experimented with and it's pretty effective at gathering. And kind of like with the pick and hatchet, I don't seem to get a ton more of a certain resource using its main or secondary fire attack. But it seems like that chainsaw is hands down the fastest way to gather from Carniflora. So what if you have a live Carniflora and you want it dead so you can harvest all the stuff around it? Well, you can kill it with fire. Just about every attack does nothing, no damage at all to a Carniflora, but fire will actually damage them. So if you've got fire arrows, you can shoot them with your crossbow from a nice safe distance, and after a few hits, the thing should actually die from that. You can technically burn them with a torch, but that puts you at a nice convenient biting range, and a flamethrower is great because you can stay far enough away from the Carniflora and just burn it to a crisp. Also, anything else that generates fire, like a jar of pitch or an oil jar, will make that much quicker and easier to burn one of these things down. And once the live Carniflora is out of the way, you can harvest the whole grove and get all the resources you want. Now, I did figure out one really effective technique if you only have a Stegosaurus and a torch. Well, a couple of torches. Now, if you use the Tertiary Fire, which is C on PC, and I think clicking down the right stick on console, you can switch plate modes for a Stegosaurus, and when you are in heavy plate mode, you cannot be picked up and dismounted off your mount. So, when it tries to grab you, you won't go anywhere, and the Carniflora only tries to grab you about once every 10 seconds. So if immediately after it tries to grab you, you jump off and just start whacking it with a torch for about 8 seconds, and then you jump right back on before it's going to grab you again, 
you can keep repeating this process until it's totally dead. And this was actually one of the most effective ways to kill a Carniflora that I found, as long as you're making sure you get back on that Stego before it's going to grab you again. So I hope this guide helped you. If it did, please drop a comment and let us know if you know any other tools or creatures that are good for harvesting these things at an even higher rate. Or if you know another good trick to damage and kill Carniflora, I would love to hear about that too. And keep an eye out for more Genesis 2 resource guides that'll be coming out really soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around. That helps us out a lot. And drop a comment. We love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more videos like this coming out really soon and you won't want to miss any of them. We already have tons of other videos for you to watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.